My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got an amazing story along with this amazing truck. It's a 1951 Ford F3 tow truck. This is the real deal. It was a one owner, it was part of the dealership all of its life. This was a genuine functioning tow truck. It had been in storage for over 40 years and recently pulled out, given a nut and bolt restoration. It's won very prestigious awards, AACA Junior, a national senior, a grand national champion, a finalist for a Zenith award, uh, won a Best Ford Award, so this is, and this is all recent, 2020 and later, this has won the awards. Uh, it functions as good as it looks. Uh, real neat story, I'll tell you about it, you can read more about it on our website. Uh, the gentleman that restored the car, he was five years old when his father worked for Zooks Motors. They're a Ford dealership, they were in business since 1925, they're still in business today. Zooks Motors, uh, this was their tow truck. Uh, the gentleman that restored it, his father worked there 30 years, would bring the truck home, you know, after work, he would drive it home. And being a five-year-old boy, uh, the gentleman that restored it, seeing a tow truck, he was just in awe of it. It was just amazing. So when he turned 16, he went to work for Zooks Motors, and guess what he did? He drove the tow truck. He drove it for three years, uh, and then went off and, you know, did something else. This got parked in 1969 in a retired body shop building from the Ford dealership. We have a picture uh, on our website, and this thing was parked from 1969 until 2012 in the same spot in an old abandoned building. And that's when the uh, most recent owner pulled it out of its slumber and did the restoration. So really neat story. Anyway, let's start right here. Uh, it has a spotlight and everything works on this truck. The winch in back, the lights, the radio, everything. So we have a working uh, handheld spotlight from the inside that's originally on the truck. And that's what neat, is neat about the old picture. Uh, you can see it's restored exactly how it was. Uh, this is the five star cab, so it has extra chrome trim on the hood uh, and the stainless around the windshield. It looks like all the glass has been replaced. It's all crystal clear. Any rubber seal was replaced. Uh, every piece of chrome was re-chromed. Our trim was replaced. And it's all Henry Ford metal. There's no fiberglass, no reproduction metal. It's all steel and it's all restored beautifully. Uh, it has the working hazard lights. <clears throat> uh, I'd assume this is a deluxe uh, item, the hood ornament and the chrome trim and the V8 emblem. Might be part of that five-star uh, deluxe cab. You got the big uh, steel uh, grill guard up front here, attached to the original bumper. Everything in the grill is restored. Uh, this is the Grand National winner. That's a big deal. That's AACA Car Club Grand National. It competed against the other uh, you know, senior awards. And here, it first won the senior national first prize. And uh, it has a, a number, but not a date, but the car was finished in 2020. So everything is 2020 or, or more recent. It's repainted its original Alpine blue color. The paint is beautiful. I don't see any flaws. There's no cracking or chips or nicks. Uh, he restored the truck with the help of a friend who was uh, you know, more of the expert. We've got the reproduction tires, still has nubs on the tread. They're hardly been used. These big tires, big steel rim, uh, painted uh, hubcaps. It came with a factory radio, uh, so it has a factory antenna. It looks like it has Ford script on the glass, so uh, it must be reproduction glass. You can look at the, the frame, little visors above the window, all the rubber seals and whiskers, everything is replaced. The rubber seal here is replaced. 
as the Ford decal. That's the way they drove it. Uh, running boards, all steel, original, not reproduction. You have working locks and door handles, the gas cap. Way up on top, we got the light. That's the, the light that was there, or one exactly like it in the old picture. That's what the light looked like. This is all lettered up exactly how it was lettered up uh, back in the day. Nothing was changed. This is not a, a homemade, or they didn't put goofy sayings on here, like, like uh, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just want your toe. No, they kept it authentic. Again, all metal, excellent condition, all the weltings replaced. All the wiring, you know, cloth wrapped, correct wiring. So this is the actual tow truck. It's all rebuilt. The winch works. Um, that was rebuilt actually uh, as well. Uh, this is all functional. This is the way it was. This is not just a homemade, uh, let's make it look like a neat tow truck. This is authentic and it works. We talk about the underside a little bit because there's a tire uh, that's a fifth matching uh, tire and restored wheel, but the body was off the frame. Every part under there was sandblasted bare. Actually, the entire truck was sandblasted. Uh, and all the components underneath, the brakes, the suspension, the steering, all rebuilt. Uh, new correct exhaust system, uh, new fuel system, brake lines, uh, you name it. Uh, the four-speed transmission and the clutch, all that was rebuilt. Uh, the rear end has 486 gears in it. Everything's rebuilt. These are the levers that control the winch and the boom. And again, it is functional. I, I forgot to open the door on the other side, but you can see in here. Okay, part of the five-star cab, it included upholstered door panels, armrests, and dual visors, which this has. So this is considered the deluxe. The nice knobs and bezels. I don't want to skip all over, but look at the seats upholstered beautifully. But here's the detail. Look at the clamps. Look at the bracketry. There's the gas tank behind the seat. It's the whole inside of the cab's upholstered. The dome light works. The instruments, uh, these are for the hazard lights. That's the light on top, all the knobs. Take a good look at the gauges. Even up under the dash, it looks brand new. This was ordered with the factory radio. It works, deluxe heater controls turn signals, got two big trumpet horns under the hood. I don't see too many show cars restored to this level. The, the rubber mat on the floor. Look at the Everything, all the detail. It's such a fantastic job. All right, do you want to see what a brand new 1951 Ford engine compartment looks like? It is immaculate. It's like automotive jewelry. It's detailed so nicely. So that is a 239 uh, flathead. That's the original motor that came in this truck. Makes a whole whopping 100 horsepower been completely taken apart to a bare block and rebuilt. Now, I guess we'll start here and work our way around and look at the firewall. Look at the cloth wrapped wires, the regulator, the stickers, the oil filter, the carb, the fuel pump, everything is authentic. Hose clamps, uh, the shroud, the radiator, everything is restored exactly back to brand new condition the correct cap. Over on this side, I believe that's a, a vacuum pump for the wipers. I followed it under the dash. It looks like it goes to the wiper motor. 
Uh, we've got a six volt reproduction battery with the Ford script and the right cables. There is a disconnect switch right here. Um, and then under the hood, it's all painted nice and it has a trumpet horn on each side. Again, all the wiring, clamps, hoses, cables, belts, you name it, it is completely authentic and every piece is restored. So these old trucks are so interesting. We just bought a Good Humor ice cream truck we're keeping for the museum. Right now, I would love to keep this. I just don't have the space. It's actually inspired me. I want to do a whole nother building uh, with working trucks like this. And when that day comes, I will regret selling this. You don't find them with a story. You don't find them this authentic. And you do not find them restored to this level. People will make them look pretty because uh, it's kind of a novelty, but no one takes them to this level. So this thing's amazing. And you know what else you can do? You can start collecting some vintage props, uh, some gas cans or toolbox or an old lunchbox or an old service station outfit. You can start collecting that and adding it to the uh, display. That would be lots of fun.